before your furious love. Jay, what's happened? He does not look like Luke the Judge. Stop lying around these ways. Thank you, Jerry Tiggy. Uh, do you know what the site someone just said on here? You look like Luke the Judge. <laughs> Ignore him, the pointing us up. Hey, Luke's gorgeous. Just not for me. Do you know what I mean? I've got my side, but I don't need. Yes, leave it out. Um, so, yeah, Simon's hot, man. Uh, can you, I am not renting out Simon. Don't be saying things like that. Thank you, everybody. Ladies, stop it. I, I tell you what, Luke looks different in real life. It, it's, it, Luke's a handsome chap in real life. TikTok, I don't think, does him any favours. And I've said this, nothing I wouldn't say on live. But when you meet him in real life, Luke's a hottie. He's a little hottie. Uh, he's probably listening anyway. Uni for Simon. Uni for Miss Reds. Never mind, Simon. Thank you, everybody. Uh, oh, excuse me, Rob. We'll get up to 150k taps, guys, and then we'll get on with the FYP news. How's the doggy? Suze is fine. Check the poll. What, what is the poll? What have they done to me? Uh, who's buying a hat for Deidre and Remy's wedding? Oh. Zero said, 0% uh, said yes. 33% said not a chance. 44% said it never will happen. And... Uh, 21% said Sophie. Oh, well, that was a silly thing, weren't it? Nevertheless, you know, they've got a bit of content out of it. But we'll talk about it once we've got the taps in, guys. Yes. Why is Jesse and Jay fuming? What's, what have I missed? What are you fuming about, ladies? Um, I'm confused. Are you confused? I'm confused. Morning, Levi. Morning, darling. Um, I'm just confused on a Sunday morning. And it don't take a lot to confuse me. Oh, big love, Levi. Yes. Seriously? Jay, why are you fuming? Come and tell me, darling. Oh, guys, sinuses. Oh, the... What, MT, why do you need my help, darling? What can we do? MT, what do you need? Oh, yes, Jay. MT, come and tell me what you need, darling. Anything I could do. Oh. Hello. <clears throat> I want, what, what happened? Remy. Um. I just, can I, I'm just going to say this in, in the nicest way. Yeah. Remy. Yeah. That boy is better off without you. For good, forever. Because um, he deserves a hell of a lot more than what you're giving him. Do you understand? There's people out there that are would die to be mothers and you're taking full advantage of um being so blessed to have a child i could not give a flying fuck what people think about my statement she does not deserve that boy you were told that that boy needs to come before Diadro. You you even come on the app and told everybody that that was the case, that you, you won't be able to see your kid again if you went near the man. Listen, I really hope in the future that little boy of yours fucks you right off because you have put a man, a disgusting man, before your own kid and you should be fucking ashamed. What do you really think, Jay? Uh, what I, I mean, I did say on God's day we were gonna. Uh, oh, MT, what the fuck is going on with everyone today? I mean, I do agree with what Jay has just said. Uh, I will uh, with Jay on that one. MT, darling. Oh, justice for MT's bumble. Oh, MT. Uh, can we have some hearts in the chat for MT? Oh, darling, MT. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Donkey Mom. Can anybody recommend any uh, laxative um, relief for MT, please? Because it's been three days and he's very angry. I wondered why he's been so quiet. Personally, MT, I can recommend prune juice. I was just, yes, prune juice, guys. When I, obviously, you know, I've got my troubles. You know I mean? I have troubles occasionally. When I had that prune juice, I thought I was a goner. 
I genuinely thought I was a goner when I had that prune juice. I ain't been right since. I think I lost a kidney, <laughs> a bit of spleen. Do you know what I mean? Never again. Will I have the, uh, will the, will I have the prune juice? <sighs> Bran flakes, laxatives, um, <laughs> dragon fruit, wheat a bit. Let me get some tissue, everyone, because my eyes are terrible today. Oh, dear. Justice for the bunder, empty. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, guys, I have got sinuses. I haven't been on the packet before anybody asks. <laughs> Oh, come on, MT. Come and tell us all your problems. Oh, darling. MT. Too much discomfort and I don't know what to do. Oh, MT, love. I know. It's awful, you know. Jenkins side of the Do you know what? I feel like, uh, you know a watermelon? I feel like I've got a watermelon in the front of my body. And I just <laughs> can't get rid of it. I'm not even lying. What? Have you, what have you tried? Um, coffee, 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 nicotine, coffee, coffee, mahis, an Indian, Chinese, and nothing, nothing at all. Thank you, guys. I was going to have a spray, but I don't think that's worth need that. Sorry. You know that um, uh, McDonald's binds you up, like it stops you from going. Are you being serious? I promise you. At uh, McDonald's, it like, you know, stops things moving. Oh, has it for like three days on the run? Well, there's the problem. There's... What's the problem? Cause I've been setting myself up to fail all this time. DJ just said poke it. <laughs> um, I don't think that would be a good experience, need that. Definitely don't. <laughs> and nice to see you on on a Sunday morning. Well, I thought, you know, on God's day, you know, I, I knew you'd appreciate it, darling, because, you know, you're a, you're a woman of God. Uh, yeah. So we thought we'd come here today and, uh, you know, do a little bit of FYP news because I knew you'd appreciate it. Well, the congregation is delighted because the congregation's currently got to travel from city to city. So you're going to keep me entertained for the next two hours. So I love that. OK, see, I did it just for you because I'm a friend Thank like you. that. You know what? Best friend ever, you, you know. Honestly, yes. I put you on. I put you on the pedestal. You've just knocked. You've just took a number two. Actually, I, I'm gobsmacked. I never ever thought number one and number two would ever be took. You've just took it. I'm you a number. So I'm number two. Yeah, you don't want to know who number one is. Empty. Uh, don't be saying that around these ways because I know who you're talking about. Anybody change your mind now? Um. 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 <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, okay, I'll put you as number one just for this live, but then I'll go back to number two later, okay? Okay, darling. Thank you, Auntie. All right, thank you too. I've got a date with the plunger, so I'll see you in a bit. Oh, Auntie, justice for the bunder, guys. Can we have some love for Auntie? Uh, use pair, give it a rest. Suze, enough. Thank you very much. Um, basically, what we have going on in this situation is uh, Susie's feeling a little bit, uh, you know, um, Randy and Rambo's just not about it because one is, uh, you know, he's had the dangly bits off. Thank you, everybody. And uh, two, he, you know, he's just not about it. And Susie just won't leave him alone. Stop it. Get away from him. Yes, this is what's going on here, guys. Right, let's get on with the OIP news. Too much information this morning. Thank you, everybody, for the ghosties. Thank you, and the heart miss. Has everybody got your heart me in? Because it's time and half on a Sunday, guys. So uh, if you haven't got your heart miss in, get your heart miss in, please. Alexa, play the BBC News theme. BBC News theme by TV theme. She on Amazon Music. 
Thank you everybody, good morning and welcome to the Miss Red FYP show On a Sunday morning on God's Day just for MT to cheer him up because uh, he's having a terrible time with the Bunda Today guys, we're going to have a little bit of a laugh today because there's so much negativity going on elsewhere on TikTok So I thought I'd come on and cheer you all up a little bit, thank you everybody Hello DG darling, I've got a video to play you as well, yes Buckle up for cups and I will put one trigger warning in place because we can't have a trigger warning live Alexa off and seriously because it's important for you to protect yourself guys I can't be saying trigger warning every two minutes it's boring so if you're affected get out and come back <laughs> thank you guys thank you right so let's get on with it thank you everybody oh Suze please give it a rest yes Joe. Oh, did I just see that? Oh, okay. So the Observer posted a video, right, guys? Which creator do you think is the best on the app? Uh, I mean, like, I ain't telling you all what to do, but, you know, I'm doing terrible on there, to be honest, considering we've got so many people that watch. You know what I mean? I'm at the bottom of the pile. So we need to get over there. I know, Joey. I know you did, darling. So we need to get over there and put your votes in. At the minute, I think DG's winning. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, TikToker. You know what I mean? So if you do love me spread around these ways, I'd appreciate, you know, a little bit of a, an ad in the comments. Yes. Go over and fight, vote for your favourite creator, guys. It doesn't have to be me. But, yeah, it's a little bit of fun and I like to see. Oh, hello, DG. Here he is again. Yes, DG's winning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Let's get on with it. <coughs> So there are, there's like memes going around. Is it memes? Thank you, everybody, for the love of the, the CLA one. Do you know, she likes, she likes a little bit of a rant uh, to vote. You just write on the on the page, you know, on the video, uh, whether it's DG, me, EQ, whoever you want to vote for, it's over there. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I can see your comments, guys. I'm not going to talk about EQ and the breakup and everything because, you know, I'm not going to sit here and wallow in, you know, somebody else's misfortune when it comes to relationships because in a sense of breaking up because, you know, I mean, you never know if it's going to happen. I, I mean, I don't know. I could go for a breakup one day, God forbid, and I'd hate to, for people to say, say you're laughing at it. Do you know what I mean? So, and they'll be together next week anyway, so I'm not even going to sit here and go, ha, 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 because it's it's not nice, to be honest. And you know me and I don't like each other, uh, but I ain't going to sit here and go, ha, 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 because everybody deserves love, yes. Uh, right, guys, so let's get on. So, anyway, CLA's uh, rants going viral. Uh, people are doing, like, memes to it. Do you know what I mean? Thank you, everybody. And they've been making me absolutely piss myself. They've been really, really cheering me up. Do you know what I'm talking about, guys? Uh, so, let's just play it. Fucking um, talk to POV, your mum gets arranged when she wakes up to the sink full of dirty dishes. And I've got to be honest, this this has been me on a few occasions. You celebrated when your uh, ex left Kelly. Yeah, I've done a few of them celebrations, to be honest. Fucking talk to me like I'm a cunt. <laughs> fucking a bitch has fucking done everything like a G on my own in life, mate. We'll even know what time of day it is, what I've done in my life, motherfucker. Don't talk to me, bitch. Fucking talk to me like I'm a cunt. <laughs> There's a couple actually. They're, they're really, really funny. So did I download any more? Uh, okay. When your mum and dad have an argument and she spends the rest of the day talking to herself. Fucking talk to me like I'm a cunt. Fucking a bitch has fucking done everything like a G on my own in life, mate. Would even know what time of day it is, what I've done in my life, motherfucker. Don't talk to me, bitch. <laughs> fucking talk to me like I'm a cunt <laughs> Fucking a bitch has fucking done everything like a G on my own in life Mate, would even know what time of day it is, what I've done in my life Motherfucker, don't talk to me, bitch Fucking talk to me I love it Because you know for a fact, right guys <laughs> We're all guilty of it. Um, let me, so I want you to tell me, uh, someone's just said, who was it that just said that? Uh, Claire said to me when my team went to Idea's room. Um, 
Yeah, so let me. So I want to know who who gets you like that. So basically, tell me in the chat who gets you like that. Uh, basically, for me, it would be one of the girls, one of my daughters that gets me like that. Do you know what I mean? And I'm ranting around the house. Yes, and I don't stop. And then I'll calm down for an hour, and all of a sudden I'll remember, and then I'll start again. Do you know what I mean? It's one of my girls, man. They really like trigger me, my daughters. Seriously. I love them. Obviously, I love them. But they trigger the fuck out of me. Do you know what I mean? They don't leave me alone. If it's not pluck my hair, do this, do that. You're in your 20s. Leave me alone. I mean, yourself, said Martin. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Uh, it's always the girls in it, always the daughters. Um, what did Jerry say? Uh, can you do a video and use the sound? I don't know because it's been done, in it? It's been done already. So if I do it, it's not going to be, you know what I mean? It's nothing new. <laughs> right, let's move on, guys, from that. Uh huh. This video made me laugh. This is by Nostrils and Co. There's a lot of bun bunning going on around on the TikTok place. Thank you, everybody, for the gifts. Uh, this made me laugh. So this says Bun Angela. EQ. Bun Angemis Red, Rickster Bradley, Luke the Judge, Car uh, Mama Cas and Karma Cas. Uh, Luna's Bunning, Zach the Hive, Cook and Cruise with John, people more ill than me, Cubs. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> so many Bunnings going on. <laughs> to be fair, my board could have had a lot more on it, but oh, I don't know. All right. Have we got anything else? Oh, my God, this fucking made me laugh. So... I literally found my, my hamster on a live 20 minutes ago when my mum writes a poem. Yeah. It's a poem. Death trap. Call goodbye. Bonnet. Yeah. Ready? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bonnet, sweet bonnet. Oh, bonnet, my love. As your journey begins to the hamster heaven above. I'd just like to say what a cutie you were with your little book teeth and your beautiful fur. <laughs> Sorry, that's beautiful. In my heart there's a space that only you could fill, running round in your wheel, spreading <laughs> love and free will. <laughs> I hope you have fun on your angelic cloud, because you kept me awake, you were fucking wild. <laughs> 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 oh my god! I'll remember you forever, my soft furry friend, as your little hamster life has come to an end. She <laughs> got page two! <laughs> as I sit on my bed, in tears as I weep, for once in my life I'll get a night's sleep. <laughs> as I fly high with your angel wings up into the sky, oh bonnet, sweet bonnet, my bonnet, fly high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. But we can all relate, can't we, parents or anybody that's had a hamster because they keep keep us awake all night. Um, I remember when my daughter had an hamster, it was called Houdini. Thank you, Al's life. And uh, <laughs> I'd wake up in the morning, go to the bathroom, and he'd be in the bath. You know, he's cage in the bath. Thank you, Mimi Lou, because it just keeps everybody awake. And I remember he escaped one time, and it took us a week to get him out of the floorboards. And he kept the whole house away. She must have been about eight, and uh, she left a cage open. And this hamster's escaped, and you could just hear it running. Uh, you know, it was in the in the ceiling. Uh, <laughs> it was just chewing its way through the house and do you know what I had to do? I had to rip up a bedroom carpet, right? And do you know the, the morning uh, grey, do you know the floorboards? I had to carve a hole in the floorboard, right? So that the hamster could come up through it and we like put a little ramp, we put like a little ramp, made a cardboard and I swear to God guys, we sat there, we must have waited probably about an hour and the hamster come up through the floorboard and we grabbed it and that's the truth yes 
Uh, but they are cute, but noisy fuckers. Uh, my guinea pig was called Houdini as well. Yes, these little fuckers. Thank you, Adam, darling. That was fantastic. Um, oh, love. Me? Sorry, when I open my birthday card and I don't see 10 grand in there. <laughs> Thank you guys for the love. Guys, how many people have had birthday cards right and you're just praying for some money in the birthday card and you open the, 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 the birthday card right and you just you're praying there's money in there but you don't want to give it away that you want the the want there to be money in there and you're opening the card right and you're just looking at it and you just open it and you're like oh oh and it falls out on your lap, do you know what I mean? And you you're just like, oh um, that was me yesterday. In it. I mean, I ain't had a birthday card for a long time with money in it, but I remember the days and I never used to watch the money fall out. I was like really cool with it. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you pre pretend you don't see it, don't you? <laughs> a pound coin. I remember the days when the pound coins was in the card. There was sellotape to the cards. Um, I prefer money over presents because I, I've got no poker face. So if someone gets me something that I don't like, I'll tell them. Uh, like Simon's bought me a few things. Thank you, everybody. Hello, JD. And you see my face. It's like you don't like it, do you? I'm not like, no. And he said, well, you know, if you want to take it back, take it back. I'll say, thank you very much. I'll tell you now. I've got no poker face. If I don't like it, I'm just going to say. Mm. Well, do you know what I mean? I don't want something that I don't need. We have to look after the pennies around these ways. Uh, happy first, uh, happy birthday, Vicky. Who's like that, guys? Let's do a quick poll, right? So, if someone gets you a present and you don't like it, do you just take it and go, oh, yeah, thank you? Or are you truthful and say, mm, I don't really like that? Just out of interest, happy face, you like me, so, you know, just straight to the point. Sad face, no, you're going to take the present because you don't want to hurt the feelings. Uh, can't hide your face, can you? Are you going to take the present and re-gift it, send it to somebody else? Oh, no, I I'm honest, I'm honest with it. I remember one year my nephew got me some perfume and it was fake. You could tell as soon as you opened the box. And I just said, oh, thanks, mate, but I, I ain't wearing that. I said, I'll be back. Uh, I am grateful for what I get, but if I don't like it, then I just have to be honest. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, someone just said, I'd, I'd never be rude about a gift. The thing is, Pete, right... If it's at, like say like if it's an anniversary or a birthday, thank you, Lexi. So I'm gonna get me a piece of jewellery. So I have to like it, you know. It's because it's you know it's an expensive gift. I can't like you know wear summer that I don't like, you know. Um, so that's why I say I, yeah, I don't really like this. Can can I take it back? Get what I'm saying? Thank you, everybody. I did it once and never got anything else off that person. <laughs> I don't care, I'll be ungrateful. At least I'm honest. Okay, where are we going next? Oh. DG loses it and it's hilarious. This reaction gives me tears in my eyes. Do you remember last, no, it wasn't last week, a couple of days ago, thank you everybody, that I played a video of uh, DG ordering Darren. Um, you know, somebody who would make him smile, you get what I'm saying, and Speedo, well, DG did a reaction to it, and it absolutely, it was hilarious, so I'm just going to play that for you now. Uh, DG loses it, and it's hilarious, it's hilarious. So here we go, guys, so far the story is here, Darren is laying on the bed, she's now on, voice, and then facing the other way, Darren is tongue punched her, yeah, so basically... Did he just say tongue punched? Oh, vulgar words. Oh, we'll have no tongue punching, punching round his ways. Oh. I'm lying like that. She's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, Darren, darling. Darren, hello. 
Um, we love this video, Darren. Yes, you stay there, love. <laughs> laughter that makes it more funny I'm, I'm having a little cry yeah laughter so infectious in it it really is infectious uh, right love that where are we going next right let me take these out so i know what i've done oh ah guys i'm gonna play a video oh is that you princess clips big up princess clips mods if we've got any uh, screen recorders and you know the ones that post the context so come content so i can react to can you can you post them for a couple of minutes please um yes thank you everybody uh so alpha bar sings my heart will go on but she was lip syncing oh savage darling thank you savage thank you love for the what was it what was that it was like a little haunted house weren't it thank you savage um alpha bar so hands on the ears because she's lip syncing i've never had that gift before thank you and i'll prove it to you now how i know she's lip syncing watch this yes who does that come on now morning clover alf bar please you went there mariah kerry you're doing a sync live and you're lip syncing i can't be doing with this yeah we'll play dg's uh granddad video in a minute guys watch alf bar uh, lip syncing. Watch. Why is the tongue so white? Look how white a tongue is. Thank you, everybody. That was that was lip synced. That was, and she's like, oh, oh, just took it out of me that bit. She was fucking lip syncing the high notes. That's not lip synced, obviously, but the, the rest is lip. All the high notes, everything is lip synced. Did you see that? Did you see how she pulled a Mariah Carey? For any lambs in the room, right? Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Um, for any lambs in the room, if you like, like Mariah Carey, uh, when she's like miming, she's like got her hand to her, her ear and, you know, she does all that and everything else. 
little thin half bar thicker than Mariah Carey, do you know what I mean? But did you see? She didn't mean to take the micro microphone away so fast. Big up the lamps. Um, and she got caught out uh, <laughs> lip syncing. Well, if you play dirty, you're going to get caught out. Thank you, Lavina. Watch that bit again. She did them. Slay. Slay. Mm -hmm. Alpha bar with all the lip syncing with the diva ways. I can't do a song right now, guys. Thank you, Easy J. Yeah, I can't. I can't sing right now. It was so obvious, weren't it? I mean, to be honest, I'd never really clicked on until she moved the the mic away and the voice was still going, and she got caught out. And she was like, "Oh shit!" Uh, <coughs> thank you, everybody. Uh, I would do a sing live, guys, but I can't do it today. Uh, we're going to Simon Sisters for dinner. Thank you, Easy J. Thank you. Right, what we got next? Have we got any more alpha bar? Just to punish you all on a Sunday because you're not tapping the screen or sending your heart maze. I'll have all the manipulation tactics around these ways. Thank you, Easy J. Thank you, Tommy Boy and Jackie. Yes. We're going to have all the manipulation and punishments around here. I'm sure we had another one of alpha bar. Um, alpha talks about having friends, making... F uh, Alpha Bar talks about having friends, making friends when you're famous. Oh. Oh. You kind of, once you have a following, you kind of have to kind of be friends with people who've got a following as well. So then you basically have nothing to gain from each other. You're your friends. But you can still make friends with people with no followers if they don't want to be public. So if, if you have a friend that is like, if you ever become famous, guys, if you ever become famous or well-known or any sort of nobility, whatever, whatever reason for fame, just know from, from me, people have become my friend to for clout. People have become my friend to frame me for, for views. People have become my friend to get followers off me. And people have become my friend to use me. And I have surrounded myself with the wrong people in my life. And I'm, t I'm way too trusting with people, way too trusting. I tell everyone my life story. I tell Thank you, guys. Too much that I've just met because I'm an open book. I've got nothing to hide. And people take advantage of me, of my kindness, of my trust. Thank you. And that's very fucked up. So I just want to say that I will never befriend someone who will post on my story. Unless they've got a big following. If you have a big following and you've got nothing to gain from it, say, for example, you've got like a hundred plus thousand followers and you're very well known, you're, you're trending like I am, then, then I'll be friends because you've got nothing to gain from me. We're on the same kind of level of like nobility. You kind of, once you have a following. Did she say nobility? Kind of Hang on one minute. You're trending like I am, then, then I'll be friends because you've got nothing to gain from me. On the same kind of level of like nobility, you kind of once you have a following. Comes. Did she say nobility, guys? Nobility. No, no, she did. Oh, alpha bar, darling. The ego is off the. Honestly, the ego is off the scale. Nobility. Oh, I can't with this person. Are you going? Come on then. Suze, you've just been stood there waiting for 10 minutes to go out. Go on. Sorry guys, I'm just having a row with the dog. She's just been stood at the door for 10 minutes. Go on, you're not going to get hurt out there. Mush. Go on, mush, mush, mush. One minute everybody. Alexa play. Oh, 
Music Pouch. <laughs> it's like I'm a celebrity when you watch her around there, but. Alexa off. Ugh. I'm sorry, everybody. What? Was that I'm a celebrity? What is Alexa doing? About I'm a celebrity. Get out bar. Out of here. Well, that was perfect timing, weren't it? Do you know what I mean? I just sent to Simon. I just sent Simon. I just sent to Simon to be in queue to get some black paint because I'm painting the uh, unit in the hall again because I painted it the first time and I fucked it up. And anyway, so he's just gone to be in queue to get some black paint. Twenty-two pound for paint. It's only that big. Morning, Pauline, darling. I knew I should have gone. Twenty-two pound, pound. Do you know what I mean? Fucking breaks my heart. It does. I'm gonna need a couple of uh, puffs of this my fair blue now. It's extortion. It's like that big. Twenty-two pound. Thank you, everybody. Nevertheless, he's got it. Come on in. Come on, get in. In. Thank you. You know these dogs, they don't want to move all day, but as soon as I'm in the kitchen doing my TikTok, they want to go in and out. Right, anyway, now I've got over the shock horror of the £22 paints. <laughs> Sorry, <man. laughs> Thank you, everyone. <laughs> uh, we'll move on. <sighs> right, have I got any more funny stuff? Right, so we're gonna we're gonna show. Uh, it's not gloss. It's furniture paints. We're gonna show DJ. Is that the one? Because I had I had another one. Yeah, that's the one in it. Um, when you need to go, you need to go. Okay, here we go, guys. Her face, guys, sat there. <laughs> this guy is just, he don't care, look. Oh, sorry, mate. Someone's like, oh, you gotta go under. Oh. oh. Sorry, mate. Oh. What the hell? Oh, I'm getting up. What are you doing? Just having a wee one. It's not really an old man, I feel a bit sorry for him. <laughs> My favourite one that DG did was, do you remember when he used to get petrol stations and he used to have his megaphone? I used to love them ones. Um, thank you, Pauline, darling. He's done some good stuff, DG, and I'm glad that he started doing it again. Um, so, me stepping into the new year. So, yes, Granddad's back. He's back, guys. He made it to his own community page. Right, okay. I think some of his video oh, there he is. I think some of his videos have gone super viral, didn't they? Yes. Okay, so 
I'm loving watching. Thank you, everybody, for the gifts. Thank you. I'm loving watching, guys. CLA at the minute, re redecorating and doing the house. And, you know, fair play to, you know, she's a woman on her own and she's, um, you know, she's, she's doing all the house and ripping stuff up, making beds. And oh, I don't know what she's up to, but I'm here for it. But I'm loving it. You know, uh, reminds me a bit of Bad Grandad. Well, that was, that was uh, Bad Grandad. Was that like a Dirty San... San uh, what's his name? What's his name, guys? The guy. I can't remember his name. Johnny Knoxville. That's it, Johnny Knoxville. Yeah, it reminds me of that. Yeah, I used to love them back in the day. Jackass, that's it. Jackass, thank you, Kelly Darling. Uh, CLA shows us around, it's bare, but I think she's doing amazing and she's doing it all on her own. She's, I seen this morning or yesterday, she bought some pl plug sockets. Thank you, Kelly. I hope she ain't wiring them herself, guys. Oh, thank you, Lexi. Imagine. So I'm just going to show a bit of CLA. Thank you, my dear. Oh, come on. Please. My Wi Fi is playing up. So I've got to... She heavy breathes a lot, don't you, CLA? She's got that heavy breathing thing going on, but I am loving what she's doing. I really am. Look at the state of this carpet. It's definitely had its uh, cell wide day. Yes, I need to get rid of it. Quick time. Yeah, I've got to get rid of the mirrors. And this is all getting decorated. I've seen a lot of her rooms bare. Where's she put everything? Because she had like 50 suitcases, 70 million paintings. Do you know what I mean? But nevertheless, I'm, I'm, I'm here for the... Uh, the overhaul so I oh, should put it in storage because I don't really see it in the lives I'll, I'll see it on FYP uh, and I did see people say that it's the gifters paying for it but at the end of the day guys you know people want a gifter and it's up to where what she spends it on do you know what I mean do you think it's the GoFundMe money thank you granny mo watch the bathroom vids you'll have to tag me in it I'll play it tomorrow um, thank you top girl darling Who's emptied their home to decorate? I, I think she's putting like new new carpets and everything down. Do you know what I mean? At least she's not wasting it on hair extensions and you know whatever else she wastes it on. Um, I don't know Versace clothes and stuff like that. You know she's actually investing it into something that she's going to benefit from. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, you know if people want a gift her, it's up to her how she spends it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Gucci scarves, I know. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Okay, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. Oh, before we before we go on to this, right? Do you know what I watched yesterday? And I couldn't believe it. Thank you, guys, for number three popular. And I'm gonna say uh, we're gonna talk about something really sensitive now. So I will say trigger warning for this. Have you heard about that woman? That unalived her parents. Her parents were in the 70s, God bless her. Thank you, Papa B, darling. And for four years, her parents have, like, vanished. Uh, she had, like, three brothers and sisters, I don't know. And they've only just, like, noticed. Thank you, Jane. Well, I think it was last year this happened, but it's just come out now. 
Yeah, God bless them. She 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 had them in the house in wardrobes. Like, but do you know what, right? How are these other children? Thank you, Miss B. How are these other children not noticed that the parents are gone? It was the GP that contacted the police. Because they weren't turning up for appointments. This is that that's insane. Yeah, she did it for money. I think she's had like a hundred K. And when they arrested her, she was just so calm. Uh, why weren't the other children questioning? Like, I think she told them that the parents don't want to speak to them anymore. But if someone ain't speaking to me, you best believe I'm knocking the door. If it's a family member, why aren't you speaking to me? What's going on? Like, this is, this is next level. It's weird. Yeah, it's beyond evil, isn't it? Also as well, yeah, so I've been super invested in that. It's terrifying, absolutely terrifying. And also as well, the, uh, you know, the scorpions coming over in the clothes. Um, I've told, I've told uh, Sai, because Sai loves an order from a uh, pretty little thing or she, that there ain't no more orders coming here. Send them to your, uh, send them to your stepdad's house. Do you know what I mean? Don't be sending clothes here anymore. Because <laughs> I ain't dealing with no scorpions. So I've, I've told her I get them sent somewhere else. And I mean it, guys. There ain't no... no joking aside, if she was here now, I'd, I'd pull her on and say, what have I told you? No more ordering clothes until this situation sorted. Because I ain't dealing with these scorpions. I don't care about freebies. I don't want no freebies like that. This is... It. Oh, my God. And do you know what, as well? Do you know when Simon buys bananas from the supermarket? You'd love a pet scorpion, Joey. Get ordering from Sheen, darling. Do you know when Simon buys bananas from the supermarket? I won't open the packets. Uh, Simon has to open, open the bananas or the fruit because I won't open them in case there's a spider in it. And that's the truth. I won't open any fruit at all. Mm-mm. Serious, Irish dancer. Yeah, it's a massive uh, fear of mine, spiders and bananas and stuff. Anyway, I'm going to stop chatting shit. Let's get on to the nitty gritty. We are going to be talking about Remy and Diadro, guys. Yes, uh, they've got engaged over the weekend and we're going to talk about it here and now. Jay's already jumped in the box because she's fucking fuming. Do you know what I mean? So here we go. This is on Rossi Reports. Children always first. I will no longer play into their games. Oh, Rossi. Oh, is there any more to that video? Right, okay, let's play another one. Deja and Remy talk about their engagement. Hard to be sound drums, you know? Yeah, really hard weekend, yeah. It's honestly, it's been so tough. Just being showered with love and diamonds and champagne, obviously it's been like really hard. All right, I, I right to the hotel early, I went, I went to win it. When I was, when I was doing my Everest slide yesterday, that was for that hotel, so I was in there meeting the events manager, she was showing me where it, where I'd done my Everest life for as well, the marry me sign went. Oh, that's, that's why you were being so weird, and I was like, why can't I just come now? And you were like, no, just do, do some bits, do this, do that, thank you. Queen me. So I went in the hotel for sorted it all. I spoke to the restaurant manager, told him what I was going to do, told them the plan, and then um, yeah, it all came to fruition. He's such a bragger, isn't he? That like the bragging of this, oh, it makes me feel sick. Bragging, brag, it's just a brag, basically. Well, and I was just really confused. Why you got such a nice hotel room? I was like, you could have just booked like a premiere in. I would have been happy to see you. Like, you could have, we could have stayed anywhere. <laughs> I wasn't even suspicious though at the nice hotel room. I was just really flabbergasted at how romantic you actually are. Oh, I'm getting valued. 
That is so mean. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a five pound ring. That's true. That's true. Yeah, just another box in the journey of life ticked for now. After everything we've been through. There's no doubt in my mind. Forever. Forever means forever. I know you loved me even when I was being an arse. You're so good to me. Hard weekend, Rams, you know. Yeah, oh, I don't know, guys. It's one of these things so tough. That's all I got from that video, I swear to God, right? <laughs> That's it. Oh, it's all I see. I, I, I'm like, I'm not seeing anything cows apart from that. No. Yeah. Um, sorry, guys. It just puts me off that, you know, what the video is about. But no, seriously, right? Joking aside, uh, we've heard it from her mouth about um, the abuse that she's suffered from the back of him, the controlling. We've heard it from voice calls from Remy and Sophie Rose. They admitted to the Claire's Law thing. Remy knows about the Claire's Law thing. I don't, I just don't get it. Like, I know that some of us have been in situations where we've been under control and we've been with narcissists and everything but I, I, I don't get it why is she putting that around her child like because I've been in a few relationships like that I've had my first share but as soon as you know the the violence started and the you know the the nastiness I did something about it do you get what I'm saying? Because I didn't want it around my kids. I wouldn't jump into a relationship knowing that somebody's on Claire's law. If 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 I was madly in love and I found out this person was on Claire's law and I had a young children, they'd be gone. Do you know what I mean? I don't get it. I do not understand it. Have you seen have you seen the videos of him filming her naked on live? I haven't. I haven't seen them videos, no. But she doesn't look happy. She looks worn down, washed out. She doesn't look happy at all. You can see it in her. You can see that she's not happy. Uh, Carla said her boy isn't allowed anywhere near him. So how's this marriage going to work? It's... It's... <sighs> mm. I don't know if it's a segment. I don't think it's a segment. Uh, when an art feels someone slipping away, they up the levels to make them stay. I know, darling, I know. I've received engagement ring, uh, an engagement ring off the back of, uh, you know, getting rid of somebody. And I kept the fucker as well. <laughs> Went straight to uh, cash converters, that did. I think it was the only thing in a two-year relationship he ever bought me, an engagement ring. <clears throat> and when the police said, Darwin oh, wants it back, I said, absolutely not, it's a gift, piss off. And I took it straight to cash converters. <laughs> yes. And I took the kids to the cinema with them, wouldn't I? <laughs> oh, yes. Um, who flogged who flogged your rings, ladies? Nah, I flogged mine. I ain't throwing it away. Breaks my heart, a son deserves better, yeah. Absolutely. And like I say, it's not me victim shaming or anything like that. Yeah, we've all done it, haven't we? Uh, but the warning signs have been there a long time. She's got all the information that she needs to know. And she's engaged. So I just hope your, your diamond's worth it, darling. That's all I've got to say. Mm. Okay, we're going to open the boxes in about 15 minutes, guys. All right, we're going to open the boxes so you can come in and talk about this. 13 US states sue TikTok over harm to young children, to young people. Um. Intentionally and deliberately um, manipulated and hurt knowingly um, young people through its platform. It, it has promoted uh, excessive 
and uh, addictive and compulsive use by design uh, you, of our children uh, through it, its different features from autoplay and infinite scroll to it, its likes to its beauty filter. I know our parents are worried. I'm worried. Uh, I'm also fed up and will not tolerate multinational corporations, this American corporation, specifically targeting our young people and knowingly harming them. And that's why we're suing TikTok uh, today. So uh, we're proud to stand with states across the nation. Again, uh, multi-state, bipartisan, um, holding TikTok accountable for harming our youth. Um, we will not stop until our young people are safe. TikTok has intentionally and deliberately... Absolutely. Yep, I mean, TikTok's banned in the country that it, you know, that it was designed in, weren't it? You know, I don't think TikTok's allowed in, in China, if I'm correct. So, I mean, I'm not all up on all this stuff, do you know what I mean? Uh, it's, 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 banned in, in, it's banned in China, the very company, the very country that it was developed and come from, come from for a reason. Uh, and it is sad. Uh, it looks like an AI. No, it's not an AI. It, it was on the news. Uh, but it's the, the adults that are ruining the app, in it. Let's be honest, it's the adults that are ruining the app, you know. TikTok aren't putting enough uh, things into place. We've got uh, pedos on here, and it's not a word I use lightly, but it's true. Um, you know, look at the, the no, is it the no contact, no content? I always get a name wrong, I'm sorry. Look at her, uh, that guy called Mark the one who wears the glasses there's a lot of that uh is it stephen love love joy or something? whatever his name is there's there's loads on here and tiktok ain't doing anything about it i i don't get it um yeah I, it, yeah it's it's it is banned in china the adro is another one there's so many people love day that's it there's so many people on here um and i think it will get to a point where it will become an 18 app. Yeah, that's it, Holly Stanley. Yeah, I think it will become an 18 app. And I, again, it's sad because it started off as a child's app, but you know, it's become an adult thing in it with gossip, drama, arguments, some of the worst stuff that's said. It's said on here. Mark Feely is another one. Um, TikTok is greedy. Yeah, TikTok is greedy, 100%. Um, because I don't also think they've put an, enough into place to protect gifters as well. You know, we've seen some really high level gifters on TikTok. Uh, I think there should be a cap on what people are spending also. Do you know what I mean? Because it, it, it is an addiction. It's a, it's, an, a, it's a gambling addiction. Even though you're only sending a gift and you're not getting anything off the back of it, it's an addiction because you know, you know how you feel when you're sending a gift and you get that couple of seconds of, oh yeah. And you know how you feel when you're receiving one, you know. Uh, or you could just turn gifts off. See, the thing is, right, um, it's the endorphins, exactly that. Like, if you want to give people, fair enough, you know, it's entertainment and things like that, it's support. But I just feel the levels that some gifters go to. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you've got level 50 gifters. Uh, I think there needs to be some something put into place where there's a cap put on what people are spending. Uh, make a limit and revamp. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Thank you, guys, for the love. Thank you. Because TikTok isn't doing enough to, to protect people. I've known of people that have used credit cards to gift. That's insane. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, when the scammers as well, mum official, are official. And then you've got people putting PayPal's up and, um, you know, GoFundMe's. Go, if it's for a charity and if it's for a good cause, thank you, Hayley, darling. Thank you, Jane. If it's for a charity and a good cause, I agree with it. But if it's because you want a new bed, a new phone, help with a business, I think it's fucking ridiculous. You know, if it's t towards help with a funeral, you know, if you genuinely can't afford it, if the person can't afford it, and genuine things. But I, I even think that, um, you know, GoFundMe's and PayPal's and things like that, they're being abused as well. Um, and it's, it, it's sad. 
you know, some creators are getting money put straight into the bank account. It's wrong. Always give responsibly exactly that. Exactly. Um, yeah. I, I just don't know how people can do it. I don't know how people can do it. Really don't. Uh, and if I have had somebody come in and, that you know, they've, you know, shown a lot of love, I, I do tend to check up. Do you know what I mean? I don't just sit up. Do you get what I'm saying? So, because it, it petrifies me that somebody could be near going above above the means and beyond, <laughs> Jesse, above and beyond the means and they're leaving the south with nothing, you know? Uh, yeah. You also have creators that won't talk to you unless you're level 20. I oh, know, I think these, le these badges need removing. I think these level badges need removing because it's usually what a creator would notice the uh you know the the levels but i i speak to everybody whether you've got a 34 a 10 a 6 you know uh i'll speak to everybody yeah because you should be spoke to if you're going into a creator's room um, and you're commenting. I know they, they, we get a lot of people in here, so it's impossible for me to reply to everybody. But if you're only getting noticed for your badge, get the fuck out of the room. Do you know what I mean? Get out. Mm-hmm. Right, okay, where are we going next? Right, what's this one? Oh. I don't know if I want to play this one. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Angie. I don't know if I want to play that one. I don't know why I favourited that. Um, it was about Alf Bar and a, a, a medical notes. Do you know what I mean? Tyrone reacted to it, but I don't want to talk about it because I feel a little bit mean. You know what I mean? If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Do you get what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, I don't want to be a bitch. Right, so we got anything else? Oh, and this is a thing as well. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Jesse. Calling a man bald is now considered sexual harassment. High court rules. Calling a man bald is a crime. No, I think I've committed that <laughs> the last couple of weeks, you know what I mean? So I apologise for that. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, darling. Well, at the end of the day, if someone wants to come in here and pick on me, and the first thing I notice is that, then I'm going to say it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, please, come on now. If I thought it was a crime, I wouldn't have done it. Someone's coming in here and picking on me. I'm picking on the first thing that I notice, and I didn't know it's a crime. So lock me up and throw away the key, but I won't be doing it again, guys. I just want to say that. Exactly that, Jerry Tiki. But I just can't believe this. Can't believe it. As we move into stranger times, all right, okay. Now it is considered sexual harassment if you call someone bald. Like seriously, all right. If you call someone bald, all right, it's sexual harassment. So I don't want anyone, okay, to be going like, oh, baldy or anything like that, okay? Because mm -hmm. you're gonna catch a case, all right. We can't be having that. It's sexual harassment. I won't put up with it. Okay, so <laughs> okay, and the more crazy thing about it, all right, is that it's a high court thing. So they said that a high court was ruled this, like, but I'm sure was there was there any votes on this? Like, I, I don't remember voting as like you know being nearly bald, and I don't remember voting for this, right? So you know, and to be honest, I don't I don't really care. Like, I think all them kind of bald jokes are funny. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we could go through a lot of them on here, but obviously I don't want to get done for sexual harassment. Okay, so I don't want to <laughs> jokes, no funny egg jokes like no, none of that all right <laughs> but uh, this is the times that we're in people okay so yeah just watch the bull jokes okay so as we move in that was on asking underscore social underscore questions guys i didn't know and and i panic i do uh i, I panic if i think i'm gonna catch a police case do you know what i mean <laughs> and, and when, I, when i see this my ass fell through the law was made in 2022. I'm checking this out. I'm checking this out. Is, uh, mm -mm. Right, where are we? How do I check it out? Mm. 
One minute, guys. Oh, that's the one you press. It can't be real short, surely. Right. One minute. I've still got the, the, the cloud seeding thing on here that I did with Hustle. Right. Guys, check your Google. Is it illegal to call someone baldy? Alexa, is it illegal to call someone baldy in the UK? Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. I've, Alexa's not got no answers, but it's saying here, I've just checked it is. I think sometimes bald men can be sexy, look at Vin Diesel and, uh, and, and actors like that. Who's some sexy bald men, guys? Vin Diesel. Who else have we got? The Rock. Oh, the rock. Yes. <laughs> uh, Jason Statham. Oh, yes, that one. Your husband. Uh, Grant Mitchell. Grant Mitchell. Phil Mitchell. Uh, your man. Your partner. Patrick Stewart. Who's Patrick Stewart? Is that the guy from Star Trek? Ross Camp, Dave Durant, I didn't know. So I apologise for the guy that came in here and verbally abused me and I said that to you. I do apologise and I won't do it again, guys. I will always do better. Yes. I, I genuinely didn't know it was a thing. And when I was drinking my tea this morning and I seen this, I accidentally spat it out. Mm. Right, let's open the boxes, guys. Thank you, Riri. Thank you, darling. Right, come on. Get in and have your moan. Who said Matt Lucas? I mean, each to their own. Is that the one from Little Britain? Matt Lucas. Each to their own? Yes. Ooh. You guys are girls. Morning, Miss Red. Morning. Morning. Hi, Paula. Hey, Miss Red. I'm keeping it calm. I'm keeping a calm today, but I just want to tell you, I got my results from the DNA, and I have oh. two sisters and three half brothers. And oh, brilliant! How do you feel, Paula? It hasn't sunk in yet, and I spoke to my sister as well. So, um, and hopefully she will come. Well, she can't get over the next year and sit meet me properly. But um, yeah, I just wanted to let everybody know. Oh, thank you for letting us know. Are you overwhelmed, darling? Yeah, yeah. I was, what? Supposed the, I was supposed to get them on Thursday, but I got them on Wednesday when I checked. So, um, yeah, and uh, we've got the same dad too. So when we're only four months apart, her birthday's in the 12th of September. My uh, birthday's on the 2nd of December. So she's just turned 50 and I'm coming 50. Amazing. Well, Christmas is going to be expensive now, darling. <laughs> yeah, definitely. A little niece to spoil now. Oh, so. that's lovely. So I just wanted to let you all know, and thank you so much for letting me in this trade and have a brilliant day. And you look beautiful today, baby. Oh. Thank you, oh, thank you, Paula. Right thank back you. at you, darling. Thank you for letting us know. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it, guys? She's, you know, she's got, uh, she's got some extra family members. Yes, we love that. Hi, Trace. Morning, beautiful lady. Uh, I think bald men are sexy. Yeah, I do as well. Yeah, I mean, they're more sexy than men with hair. <laughs> do you think so? Oh, yes, definitely. But if that's offensive, why isn't calling somebody fat offensive? Well, it should be, darling, because that, that you know... That's worse than anything, that is. But that, no, it says here, 
calling somebody fat is not <laughs> illegal, but calling somebody baldies in the UK. Exactly. But I don't understand that at all, never will. But I mean, to be fair, I could have reported a few people for doing that, do you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Just called... yeah. Yeah. But have yourself a beautiful day, you beautiful lady, and I shall speak to you soon. Ah, oh, bye Trace, darling. Bye, Miss Red. To be honest, guys, Tracy has a point. Trace has a point. Uh, it should be a hate crime. It really, really should. Um, hi, hi, Jose. Hi, Miss Red. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you, darling? I'm good. Uh, I don't know whether you remember me. I had to change my name and account, but long story. Uh, my name's Joe. Do you remember me? Darling, I'm so sorry. I've, I'll speak to that many people. Please don't take offence to it. No, no, that's okay. I, 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 I don't take offence at all. Um, you know, the other night I was dying to get into... Uh, 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 can I talk about Angie? Um, to be honest, uh, Josie, uh, not at the moment, unfortunately. My, I was trying to tell her that my, my nana wanted a tablecloth back, you know? Do you, do you remember the shirt she was wearing? <laughs> sorry, sorry, okay. I won't talk about it. Sorry, done. Boom. Anything else, go, go for it. Okay. okay. Um, Miss Red, I have watched you for a, a really long time and I think you're fabulous and... Uh, uh, I think you're more one of the the uh, more honest ones on here. Um, that's why I keep watching. So just keep it up, okay? We, we enjoy we we enjoy it here in Australia. We enjoy Miss Red, okay? Oh, I just thank you. Yeah. Jose, people are saying like you sound like Angie. I sound like Angie. Don't yeah, even go there. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please, Justice no. For Justice for Josie. Don't That's be right. naughty. Justice for Josie. There'll be no Angie here. Not Absolutely. in my vocabulary. <laughs> yes, we love you. Oh, wow. Okay. You have a good night. You too, darling. Are you going to carry on watching? I am. Uh, it's it's half past nine here at uh, PM. So I'll watch as much as I can and then probably fall asleep. But, uh, yeah. Aww. Keep Thank up you, the good work. You too. <laughs> good night. Okay, bye. Bye, Miss Red. Bye. Bye. Mo you, morning. Guys are, you guys are so naughty in the comments. Hi, Ruby. How you doing? Oh, Sorry, yeah, I, I, I've been I've been told I've got to wait my turn, so I just the bald thing just done me. I, I had to I had to try and have a conversation about it. Come on, speak. You have your conversation. We love it. Uh, uh, do you know what? Like, I'm wearing I'm wearing a snapback for a reason. Do you know? Like, I'm bald, and I, I, I just find it so offensive where where like people ha, like, is it is that actually true? Like is it actually true with the bald thing? Because I, I, I'm I'm deeply hurt. By, by the situation, to be honest. What, what situation are you hurt by, darling? They call it bald every day. The, the, the bald situation. <laughs> the, bald, the bald thing. It's, it's like, you know, like, it's, it's like, where do you draw the line? That's what I was just saying to... So I was just saying to my other half, which I think, <laughs> I think uh, Liz, we spoke about on your live before. And I just said to her, so I've got to try and get in it because I'm like, look, I'm bald, but, you know, I've got to be careful about what I say, but I'm like, you know, Patrick Stewart, Phil Mitchell... Humpty Dumpty, nutsack. Do you know what I mean? It's like, where, where, when when do you start calling it offensive? Like, is there a line between funny and actually hurting someone's feelings? Do you reckon when they're bald? Does 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 she, I can hear your wife in the background? Hello, wife, darling. No, Hello, don't, no wife, don't bring her into it. Listen, I've got to ask you. Now, listen, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so sorry. I've just got to ask. I just want to know people's opinions as well. Like. Obviously, naturally, people are going to take the piss. I mean, I take the piss out myself. I look like saying out of coneheads. I look like that. Honestly, like, it's offensive. The shape of my canister is really bad. But it's like when people do take the piss out of bald people, like whether it's 
genetic or doing it on purpose? Like, do people just shave their heads to like naturally look like a prick, or do they do they just lose it? Do you reckon genetically? Like, I, I don't know. Like, because you do get used to it. I, I looked at myself a couple of years back when I shaved it all off, right? And then you look at pictures before you shaved it off. And I looked like a receder file, mate. It was terrible. Do you know, like like, Danny it's, it's Dyer. A, Danny, Danny Dyer with a bad hairline. Yeah, yeah. Before, before everyone knew about Turkey, yeah. Can I ask you a Sorry. question? Because we're really serious now. Justice for you, by the way, because I can hear the wife in the background and I can see that you've got your hands full. Do you know when you're having an argument? <laughs> She's not my wife and I haven't got, I haven't got a tits in my hand, Pat. So honestly, please don't assume that's the situation. <laughs> go on, sorry. Sorry, go on. No, no, sorry, darling. Do, do you know when you argue with the missus, does she usually throw that insult out to you? Yes. You know to be you honest, can get her arrested. Are you, are you, I can get you arrested. I, I, honestly, I've got friends that... that honestly, I'm not about it, darling. Do I need to make a phone call? Honestly. You tell it, darling. Is, is that true? Can I, can I get a nicked? Because that's a result, if that's the case. Google it. it is it? I'm not, I'm not going to Google it. Gonna, I'll just ring them up and go, look, my missus is, is calling me a bald piece of shit. I'm going to get a nick. Is that oh, right? <laughs> it's not funny, Miss Red, mate, honestly. It's not. It's not, darling. It, uh, no, I'm not. You like, you like Donna. I'm talking to, I'm to, is that her name, Donna, is it? Yeah, like Chinese. So if you call her a redhead, can she get you nicked for calling her a redhead? No. Why not? Because she's red. Is she? Donna. Well, naturally. Uh, no, Am I naturally bald or did I shave it? Do you know what I mean? Uh, Where did you draw the line? You're receding. I'm receding. I'm bald. How can I be yeah, receding? Like you've got bald patches everywhere. Sorry, Donna. Sorry, mate. My name is Jordan, by the it's way. Sorry, right, mate. Can I ask you a question? Do, do, do things ever get physical? Does she ever like give you a slap to the head? That's that's. I'm oh, gonna, no, I, honestly, like I'm gonna that. get a nick. That's it. No. no, that's it. That's honestly that's that's defamation. No, <laughs> <I'm that's> <laughs> Yeah, I look like a bollock, mate. All right, if you want to slap, if you want to slap the bollock, that sexual fucking assault. <laughs> that's it. That's it. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Why is that all a flat cap? Sorry, shouldn't have said that. SA, am I supposed to? I don't know. I'm new to this sort of shit. So it's all good. No, it's but, not do you know what? Can you stop button in, please? It's DV. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go on, Donna. Sorry. He doesn't know terminology. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, this has got to be the, the friendliest uh, domestics that I've he uh, ever heard on the TikTok place and we're here for. Thank you, just for the bold dicks. I mean, what, what do you, I mean, I don't think it's very friendly, to be honest with you. I think it's, uh, I, th I, think you've, uh, I, think you, I think you've done me wrong in here because as soon as I come off this live, I'm going to get it. Uh, I'm going to get this one, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, Miss Red. Appreciate That's that. So for you. <laughs> no problem. No, no, it's out of order, mate. Honestly, <laughs> I'm going to give you a follow. I thought you're not following her already. Because I didn't really know she was until I, until you told me that. You, I just thought, you listen to her every morning because of me. Yeah, but because of you, not because I want to listen to her bald and I had to get involved. Sorry. It's all right, darling. Carry on. You stepped up now because of you, mate. You did this. <laughs> I've I've just escalated the problem. You have as well. I could probably get you nicked for that as well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining, darling. I'm just going to make sure I follow you back. There you go. you got to follow back. Thank you. Uh, honestly, I'm not even joking. Uh, I don't even want it, mate. Now, why am I not like, getting nicked? Nicked for the... She's made us argue, like and I'm not getting I'm a fucking fan. Sunday roast. Excuse my language. I'm the fan girl. You're the fangirl, what am I? What the sidekick? I'm like Robin out of this situation. Miss Amanda, you thought, oh, I'm going to get into that live and you get a follow. She said bald and I felt like it related to me. What do you want me to do? Liberty. So, <laughs> now, <laughs> Miss, Miss Red, honestly, Miss Red, is this what she's all about, is it? Does this to me, I'm going to have to move out. I'm going to have nowhere to stay. I've got nothing. <laughs> I'm packing <in> the <laughs> Sorry, Miss Red, mate, honestly. <laughs> I'm causing all the breakups. Everything's You're my fault. Hashtag Miss Red. 100% hashtag Miss Wrongen. What have you done to me? Don't apologise, mate. Honestly, don't apologise. You've done me a fucking favour. So <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> Excuse yeah. my language. It's all good. Stop laughing. You're supposed to be serious. Sorry. Sorry, it's not that professional of me. But uh, no. thank you for joining. I'm I am. I'm so you. sorry. I'll go. Um, listen, everyone have a great Sunday. Uh, I'll be eating outside today. Thanks to... Uh, no, no, I'm only joking. I won't. Thank you very much. Take care, love.
<laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh god that was hilarious oh. oh we love him hi ruby hi ruby oh darling guys ruby has got to the microphone guys it was just banter so please don't take offense to anything that we said we're allowed to have bants and we love a joke around here jack Hello, hi jack I can hear you, love. Oh, um, no, it was just, it's kind of off tangent, but I was um, listening to when you were talking about, you know, that case about the girl with the parents. Oh, yes. Yeah. It reminded me of this one that I was reading up. I think it happened like a year ago or so. I put it in the comments and a couple of people are asking. Have you heard about the one about the woman who, um, I think she had like really bad social anxiety, so she didn't leave the house? Um, I think it was about in like 2010, so the parents just left her on the sofa and she basically stayed on that sofa for 14 years. And um, the parents just left her for the entire 14 years and she actually was found and she were, actually had oh. sunken in and that actually melted into the sofa. Oh, trigger warning, guys. Yeah, yeah I sorry. Heard of her. <laughs> yeah. No, don't um, sorry. Yeah, that, that was heartbreaking. Yeah, but that one's just nuts to think. I think it was in... It started in about 2010, I think they found her in like, tw like 2022. Yeah, so isn't just, it? The world's just insane, isn't it? Like uh, some of the stuff that goes on. You, 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 can't, you don't even have nightmares about this stuff and it's real. You know? Yeah, I know, and I think the, the mum was like, I think she was like the chief of police for like their county and was like the assistant mayor and stuff. And they just basically pretended that, or didn't pretend that any time they were asked about it, they just didn't kind of go on to they just said she was fine um and then for like 14 years no one had seen her or anything and i think it was i think they've called because um things had like gone downhill and they found obviously the sofa um i can't remember her name i think it was like lacy something um but if you google it just be careful because i know there's like some triggering pictures and stuff like that on there but some cases are just wild with how things can be just kind of put under the carpet that for that long yeah it's insane and how people are i, I did hear of a case uh another case yeah, as well of a lady Lacey Fletcher in the, in the comment yeah a lady that passed away and people didn't even know until four years you know four years passed it's so sad so yeah. so so sad there was another yeah. one as well where um i think she was kind of like didn't have loads of friends and stuff and people kind of didn't talk to her as much and she just didn't come oh. to work one day and people didn't check up and they'd gone to her house i think because she'd not been paying her bills and they'd found her in her apartment with the tv still on yeah. the tv had been on for about 10 years and she'd been she was surrounded by like christmas presents so she was oh. rapping i think something happened and she was just left there for 10 years and like obviously all of her TV was still on and stuff like that. So TV had been left on for 10 years and no one had realised until someone came to evict her. Yeah, it's tragic. Are you into true, true crime, Jack? Do you like all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do listen to, to a fair bit. I kind of do um, driving and stuff for my job. So I kind of find things that are, are long to listen to for like podcasts and stuff while I'm driving around and I tend to find those ones and hearing some stories are just insane. It really is. It really is. Are you one of these people? Because I know that we've had this conversation here many times. Do you know what I love? I love to fall asleep to watching crime programs. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I do that. Yeah, well, I fall asleep. We have the telly on this. Thank you, Jesse, darling. Love you. Thank you, Cockapoo. We fall asleep with the, the true crime on. It's yeah. weird, isn't it? Yeah, I do that yeah. with either true crime or I listen to um, like scary stories as well, like real scary stories of like things that have happened to like people like in the woods and stuff like that, and like ghosts and stuff. Um, so oh, I don't know I how I, I do fall asleep and not have any nightmares, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a strange old world. Thank you, Jack, for joining, darling. No problem. Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. Have a lovely Sunday, love. You too. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Bye, darling. Guys, thank you so much, uh, everybody, for, for, for tapping the screen. And Jesse, 
Guys, can we MVP just see in the chat, please, for, for the coins? Thank you, everybody. We made it to popular number one as well. I'm sorry like, if some of the things that have been mentioned are a little bit sad, but nevertheless, it's real life, right? And uh, that's what we talk about. Um, oh, thank you, Jesse, darling. MVP, Jesse. Uh, yes, this is what real life is about. Uh, and as well, we love the banters in here, so please don't take offence when someone joins the box and wants a laugh. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Who's this? Hello, mate. Oh, hello. I just got um, notified. I don't know who's let me in, but I got notified that there was a there was a mood killer present, and I just wanted oh. to, to, to to try and lift it up a little bit. A what? A what? Um, a, a mood killer. A mood killer. Yeah, yeah, one that kills the mood. Oh, oh, I'm not aware of that. Darling. How have you just picked this up? Yes, you are. No, I'm not. I don't know what you're talking about. You know what? I, I like what you're doing. It's fantastic. And what I've decided to do is uh, just quickly dip in and say, everyone, have a fantastic Sunday. Keep smiling. She is a redhead. <laughs> She's not going to report me to the police. That's all good. And yes, there is a bald head no, underneath that snapback. I'm in the middle of a speech. Right I'm in the middle of a speech. Calling you baldy, oh, my right God. Now. It's like Trump and Biden. Can you just be quiet for a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I know he's about to go there, uh, Red. Sorry, love. It's all right, darling. It's all right. I think you're just need to have your own channel, don't you? What, what's that I'm supposed to mean, mate? Mate, what's that, what's that supposed to mean, mate? What do you mean, Rid? Explain yourself, mate. What I mean is, mate, we need to get you on the TikTok place and we need to have you on here and we need to do, a, like, a, you know, your own little reality um, thing on here. What do you mean, Can't fucking talk. reality, mate? That's a great accent, but you're not quite hitting the fucking spot, mate. Well, Sprunnies can't do accents. We're terrible. Can you do a Scottish one? I'll pay you Floyd, eh? Is that all right, mate? <laughs> that's funny. That's all I can do is my own accent. I, honestly, I'm terrible at accents. Go I've on, got one for you. One of Miss Red is in the diary room. What will she do? You decide. <laughs> or one for red, or two for blue, or all three for disconnect the bald one. People want me to do brummy. Brummy. <laughs> I, I can't, I do like. But I, can I pay you Freud? <laughs> is, is that a rise? <laughs> oh, I love it. It's <laughs> 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 I can't put the camera on. I can't do it. Honestly, ever since ever since uh, Miss Red and this conversation I've had about the bald thing, it's really knocked my confidence. And um, I'm, there, no, I'm joking, mate. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm not honestly. I take the piss out myself all the time. Please, chat. Don't don't um, don't tell. Literally, I'm happy to be bald. If I've knocked your confidence, you know you're hiding it. You're masking it well. Yes. Wait, you've got I'm, confidence. I'm proud of me, mate. <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm proud of me, fucking egg. Do not. You're the middle one. You're not. You're not Uncle Fester. You've always got Uncle fucking Fester. You've got Uncle Fester in the picture. Oh my you're, god. He's the middle one. Oh my god, <laughs> Fester. Oh, that's it. I'm going to bed. Now <laughs> listen, <laughs> Donna, Miss Red, Grey. Ask her if she's going to have Chinese. Ask her if she's going to have. <laughs> oh fuck. What's that mean? You, you know. What the fuck is going on? I love them. Have you followed them? Thank you, Jean. I don't care if there was clout chasing. I'm here for it. New characters unlocked. I love that. New characters unlocked. We love it. Don't we? Yes. <laughs> I don't think anyone kicked him. I think his, his wife's took the phone off him. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to get going because it's a Sunday. It's a fun day and we're going to Simon Sisters for dinner. That's why you got to cook today. That's why I'm looking all smart to that, you know what I mean? But honestly, guys, thank you, everybody, for joining today. I hope you enjoyed the live today. Uh, we will be back tomorrow morning. Yes, we'll have no more days off. I am entitled to two days off, to be fair, guys, in the week. Do you know what I mean? Oh, you have a good day too, darling. Yes, uh, guys, thank you, everybody. We got to half a million likes nearly. Popular number one. Jesse, MVP, darling, thank you. Lexi, Pauline, Lindsay, I'll give you a follow back. Amanda, 
Kelly, Luke, Luke, Regan, Jade, Paula, Tara, Steve, Dupieg, Mimi, Lou, Scrumptious, Just Matt, Wendy, Rachie, Jane, I'll give you a follow back, darling, Voltori, and everybody. Hello, Mr. Monty. Hello. Hello, are you okay? Yes. Is your little fire working? Oh. Uh, thank you, Anne. Um, it's bought like a, do you know a gas fire? For the garage because he's doing his you know scooters and stuff and it's cold isn't it so he's got himself a little gas fire going on out there so his his stuff will dry so he's happy today uh thank you everybody i'll see you tomorrow morning and have a lovely sunday whatever you're doing uh sorry ma'am yeah. crystal love said have a nice day same to you. she he said same to you as well um everybody said will you come and say hello no. <laughs> He's a miserable sod. Bye, everybody. Mwah. Love you all. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mugs. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>